Without our memories, what does time mean? I can't make new memories. Everything just fades. It was year 2000 when I first watched the movie Memento and met the director and producer Christopher Nolan. Since then, he became one of the most popular directors. Although most of the people knew him from the famous Batman Dark Knight trilogy, he actually produced more impactful movies and many of them were focused on the meaning of time. From the man who lost the track of time due to his loss of memories to a man who got lost in between real time and dreams and even super agents dealing with the time going backwards. All were great movies focused on time, but probably the greatest one, the Interstellar movie, was produced on 2014. I hate people leaking spoilers about movies, and no, I won't give any today. But if you still haven't, you should see this amazing movie. I know it helped many people to realize some facts about the meaning of our life and the value of our times. Nolan, with his unique storytelling skills, put the time in the center of the story with Interstellar. This time, a mechanical wristwatch was one of the stars of the movie. And honestly, I wasn't surprised to see a Hamilton watch, because we all know how Hamilton is focusing on taking place in Hollywood movies. There were two different Hamilton watches in the movie. One was the khaki aviation pilot day date seen on Cooper's wrist, and the other one was a khaki field watch which he left to his daughter Murph. Since the main plot of the movie was already about the emotions between both, the name Murph was given to this spatial watch. Yes, we have seen many watches in the movies before, like the James Bond series, but none of them was like Murph, because this time, the movie, the main story was all about time and love. We are not talking about a watch seen on a character's wrist. This watch itself was a great part of the story. After the launch of the movie, many people, especially the ones who'd like to see and remember the message of the movie while checking their wrist, want to buy one for themselves. Unfortunately, Hamilton had developed this one for the movie and they didn't offer it for sale to the public. And after five years, finally, a Murph watch was announced to the public. There was even a little surprise for the fans of the movie. Hamilton had added a Morse code on top of the second set and the word Eureka was written there. Of course, this had a meaning too, but no, I'm not gonna give any spoilers here. Eventually, this was sold a lot, because it had a classical field design, a good mechanical movement and the movement of the second hand was telling a lot for the fans. However, there was a serious problem. The case width was 42 mm, and honestly, it was quite large for the small wrist. In the end, this was a field watch, and I believe it should be a little smaller. Since then, watch lovers asked Hamilton for a smaller Murph watch, and they surprisingly listened to their customers. Yeah, Hamilton announced a new 38 mm Murph watch just a few weeks ago. So now, let's jump into the review. Case width is 38 mm this time. Thickness is 11 mm and lock to lock length is 45 mm. We have a fully brushed case with a high polished bezel on top. Both brushing and polishing are done nicely and have a high quality feeling. I especially love the proportions of the case on this watch. It has a push pull crown, not screwed on. However, Hamilton still managed to provide 100 meters of water resistance, which is a good thing. The crown also has the newer Hamilton logo. We have an open case back design and we can see the H10 caliber automatic movement running inside. This movement has 80 hours of power reserve along with hacking and hand winding features. The beat rate is 21,600 beats per hour. I really love this new ETA based movements on the Swatch Group's modern watch. This one is keeping great time for me at only plus 2 seconds per day. The watch comes on a black cold leather strap with a crocodile print on top. Not the best quality strap, but cracks in easily and that's fair enough. I especially love the watch stitching, which was also same in the original movie. The classic Tank buckle feels solid and heavy. I liked it as well. The lug width is 20 mm and I think I'll try this on another strap. Murph 38 has a domed sapphire crystal. 
This don't look definitely as some character to the vintage look of this design. However, comes with the disadvantage of increased reflections on the crystal. I know Hamilton added inner AR coating to prevent this, but this is physics and you can still feel the extra reflections. At first, it bothered me too, but actually, after a while, I got used to it. Besides that, I have a lot of friends who prefer such vintage look over flat crystals. It's a personal taste in the end. Before we jump into the dial, it's time for today's sponsor, Skill Square Shared Space or whatever. Of course, just kidding. Surely, there is no one willing to sponsor this video since this is a brand new watch channel you are now viewing. But I'm seriously obsessed with watches, and if you are like myself, I think you may really consider subscribing to this channel right now. Anyway, let's move on. The Arabic indices on the dial helps to ease of readability. On top, there is only Hamilton writing, no logo here as it's supposed to be. Since this is a field watch, we need a clean dial like that. And we all know that Hamilton was one of the leaders of these field watches from the World War years. On the bottom, we will also see the khaki and automatic writings. The hands are cathedral type and again, we will immediately feel the roots of the design here. The major difference between the 42mm version of first morph and this one is on the second cent. As I said before, the first one had every word written on the second cent in Morse code. This one doesn't have this. Actually, the original one on the movie didn't have this detail either. So maybe this is more identical to the origin. The loom on the hands and indices are not so bright. Actually, I was expecting better performance from a field watch. But I love the ivory color on these parts. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the vintage loom look. When we consider the iconic movie and the message it carries, I believe this watch will also get great attention from the watch lovers. Now, we have two size options and when I think about the great story of love between our hero Cooper and his daughter Murph, I believe this may be a great choice for both men and women. If you have large wrists, you can still buy the 42 one for yourself and this 38 one for your daughter or your wife. In the end, we all need to make the wife happy to keep on buying new watches, you know. Actually, I'm keen on hearing your thoughts about this watch. If you write down your comments, we as like-minded watch geeks can discuss about it more here. By the way, this is my new camera recording right now. I'm also a great fan of cameras and if you are like myself, recently I had reviewed another watch which was designed to mimic a camera look. It's not about a watch that much popular, but if you have some more time, I highly advise you to go and check this one. In my opinion, this is a secret gem and if you still didn't subscribe to the channel, you can do it by clicking here. I wish you all the best times with your great watch and I'll see you soon on the next one.